Hey, still love this world. Yeah, it's an actual fucking zone. Oh my god, actual level? It's fun and difficult, and I love the music for this, too. The background sounds trippy. I always forget the Genesis always has really good backgrounds. Yeah. So I was just kind of like saying you're looking at the background graphics, and I was like, eh, I'm curious. But then again, it's like one of those, like I said, it's one of those finer things that you don't really pay attention to, because yeah. when you're playing the game, you're trying to focus on trying not to die. Like so. Corner of Devon's draw. I do have a nice dynamic background. Alright, you know what? I'll, just for some protection. I mean, yeah. Safe and dead. Any shield is better than none. Yep, okay. Those enemies suck. Yeah, they just randomly. Oh, this fucking gimmick. Yep. Just wait for Act 2. And then it's boss! Well, tell you, the boss is key. It's more. The boss is more key than action hard. Right. Oh. Yeah. You'll remember it when Either we get back there. Okay. Oh, oh, you'll do the yeah. final boss legitimately! Ooh, man! Yep. Wonder how many tries he'll try before he might give up. Is that... It's the one phase that's just terrible. Yeah. God damn it! That phase is just obnoxious. At least you have infinite tries. Yep. Yep. Do you lose coins when you die in this game? Nope. Mm -hmm. no. Just in the eye. Just you only lose this. coins from redoing the special stages. Or if you buy stuff in the, um, uh... Obviously stuff from the, uh, gallery. Yeah. yeah. Yep, all the gallery stuff. Which I think I bought pretty much everything I could at this point. Look at this! I also got a shitload of coins from doing the mission Sometimes mode. Sometimes it's not the best idea to do because you can skip stuff like this. Yep. I could also get a lot of coins from doing the mission mode thing in this, which... Yeah, I might plan on doing that. I mean, I could also just backtrack as well. Yeah, I was gonna say, I could just backtrack on Tails. Fuck you! Fuck you! Okay. So, when are we getting dinner? Uh, never. the 12th of never. You missed that third Oh, why did I win? Dead. <laughs> okay. You can, uh, survive the. Oh. Fuck. I was gonna say survive the barrier. You can't survive the barrier. Uh, yeah, all, all the. Right. All the Floors, walls, and ceilings have electric shocks the electric air protect you from. Yep. Damn it. And basic projectiles you can be protected from as well with any shield. With the exception of the regular one. Unless the regular one doesn't exist in this game. Anymore, does it? it doesn't exist in this game. They only have the, uh... Yep, they only have the elemental Shit. ones. Well, they, might, they might have the regular bear in some spots in Sonic 3. I want to say, I think they might have Rare Barrier in uh, Sonic 3's uh, first level somewhere. But Sonic and Knuckles, they rely very much on the uh, elemental barriers, so. Yeah. Just remember, every time you jump on that, reverse direction. Ow. Oh, yeah, right, 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 right. I was hoping you remembered it, but. I didn't actually know that, to be honest. I played the game enough to know the intricacies of how all these things work. Fucking belt conveyors, I swear. Yeah. Oh no! I should go follow that down the pit! Hey, what's that? It's like... I don't know. <laughs> I did also learn that apparently the friggin' Vita was one of the first handouts that have no LED screen. Yeah, I didn't that's realize true. I had that. That's nice. Probably helps with more of his visual fidelity, of course. And yet, oh yeah, that's another announcement. We had the Steam Deck OLED get announced. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. That's a fair They were heavily inspired from the is Switch. The OLED, even though the did it first, apparently. Is the OLED um, supposed to be superior or not? The specs are probably the same, but the actual handheld screen itself is really nice. Yeah. Like, even on the HGTVs TVs I have now, like, sometimes I prefer playing with handhelds. The visual quality is, like, beautiful. I, let's put it this way. It's like having I mean, HDTV versus a 4K. Ah. That's the best way I can describe it, where, yeah, like, having a 4K TV is nice, but it's not necessary but to OLED, enjoy the same quality. Yeah, but OLED, it looks like you actually like, see that quality of, like, the improvement feels necessary now. You can actually tell. That's like, look at the regular Switch screen, look at the Switch OLED screen, it's noticeable. But you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I love this room. 
I do too, I get a lot of rings. That is also great. You can't get hurt in here. Mm -hmm. You can't get crushed in here either, which is great. I was gonna say, I, I imagine someone tried to find a way. I'm sure people have. And by someone, I mean probably me. Stop looking for a way to lose these, this money! It's very helpful to get cash. I'm surprised you remember what you're doing, though. I'm glad I didn't have to explain what you have to do here. Well, as soon as I saw the couple of times, I'm like, okay, yeah, that's what I have to go do. God damn it! God damn it! I hate this room sometimes! There we go. Sometimes. <laughs> Only sometimes. Oh no, we're to the bottom of the list! Any other games are supposed to come out soon that are supposed to be big? Okay, oh, Penny's Break Breakway. So that's yeah, that's one. another big one for me. Of course. I gotta agree about that one. Ooh. Yeah. Romance of the Three Kingdoms 8 remake? What the fuck? It's a square game. Ah. Okay. They got I think a you need to ride the weekly loop for this one. Uh, okay. They gotta remake the fucking Running Man or whatever the fuck it's called. Oh, shit. Oh, what's that really bad fucking Square Enix game? Look, the, the, about the deaf guy. Oh. Shit. Oh, uh, I know what you're talking about, but I don't remember. We went over it in fucking Mario Luigi, god damn it! Uh, quiet Man or something? Yeah, Quiet Man, that's the one! They gotta remake Quiet Man! Actually, I'm just gonna go through this game? now just because it's like, well, I don't wanna get hit. Yeah, you exactly. actually make it a good game. That's, that's a thing. Yep. <laughs> oh shit. I'm the someone with the damn it. Oh well. There are some obstacles in the floor, so it may not be. Yeah. Uh, especially that asshole. Oh yeah, there's a Game Boy Advance game being released next year. Shantae Advance, Rescue Revolution. The true sequel to the original Shantae. Finally being finished. Still for Game Boy Advance. So it's just gonna be for the Game Boy Advance online thing? For now. No, no, it's probably it's an actual Game Boy Advance cartridge. So you need to have something to play Game Boy Advance cartridge That's to be able to play it. Weird. Yeah, it's a really weird choice they're going with. And it's always being distributed by limited run games. So, I don't know how I feel about that one. Yeah, they've yeah. been kind of shaky recently. You definitely want to use your Super Four for this, yeah. boss. Okay. Let's go, motherfucker. Ah, birds! Ah, birds! Fuck! Kill that bird! Kill that bird! Like, is that really a boss? Wow, Mega Nerd is white. Wow! This is actually kind of entertaining. <laughs> now I see why Mega Man like beats so much. Oh god, <laughs> that's basically what he is. Having four beats. And your only ammo is your money. Your life force. Yep. At least you don't feel like you need to get to the end of the game. Yeah. Where Mega Man 5 fighting the last Wily Capsule, fighting Wily Capsule without beat feels like a really bad idea. Hey, actually you get to get a challenge. That's true. That's true. Oh, right, Skull Bones is finally supposed to be coming after being delayed like five times. Or Ubisoft. Oh, actually, at I this point, I kind of have low faith in that game. I actually get to keep my shit. I mean, that's before. Ubisoft in general. Ubisoft, we expect us to fail. Kind of like EA. Or uh, Activision Blizzard. Yeah, yeah well, I would say more so Activision Blizzard. <laughs> more than. Well, both companies still make a lot of money. Because freaking Blizzard still has fucking World of Warcraft and Diablo making money. Because there's enough people that are going to buy into it. And Overwatch. Oh, shit. Well, oh yeah, that's right. I can do this. There you go, you remember. Well, Activision still has Call of Duty. Well, that's usually, that's really all they have, honestly. Yeah. Because Blizzard's kind of losing a lot of faith to people. Yeah. I mean, yeah. have you seen Diablo 4? I really yeah. think he's fine, but it's a lot of the, uh... It's the, uh, monetization. Yeah, that I've heard is bad. And it made some items extremely rare, because when you start paying for some of them, you really want your chances of getting them. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah, another South Park game is being made. Snow Day. Oh, shit. It, I don't really think we've got any gameplay details on it yet. Ugh. But I don't think it's an RPG like the previous two were. 
Or at least not in the style that it was before. Speaking of that, I... Uh, do I want Because I played Stick of Truth, but I haven't really gotten myself a shit down in, um... Play Fracture But Hole? Yep. I like the gameplay better in Fracture But Hole. But the writing in the Stick of Truth is definitely better. Yeah. Yeah. The story's actually really good in Stick of Truth work. Fracture But Hole just feels like another yeah. episode, and it kind of... Some of the jokes definitely wear their course pretty quickly. Yeah. Oh, speaking of South Park, there is one episode... I've been meaning to watch the episode, but I need to check to see if I even have Paramount Plus, but... The Pandaverse episode. Oh, yeah! I've, I heard... I've seen clips of it, apparently it's hilarious. I saw it, I'm like, you know what? This is exactly the episode I needed to see. i just seen clips of basically Carmen being portrayed as a black woman. That's all I needed to see. I'm like, yes, this is perfect. I know exactly what they're going after. And all I can say is, it's perfect. Yup. Like, I am so yep. happy. That's the thing, everybody wants to claim their own identity. When other people play in your game and you hate it, this is exactly what you brought upon yourself. This is Just exactly saying. what it looks like. Uh-huh, yup. Yep, this is literally what you're saying you want. So, yeah. And like, when I saw this, I'm like, you know what, if there's anyone who can fucking get across in the mainstream media what everyone else fucking yep. hates about media in a nutshell, it would be fucking uh, Matt Stone at Trey Parker. Yup. Yep. 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 There's also commentary spent, usually amongst the best, amongst other freaking like, people in media. Because they don't pull punches. Yeah, like, they, they, they tell, tell you is. exactly as this. Uh-huh. And even sometimes they admit they fucking are a little misunderstanding of things. Like the whole global warming thing that was more. They made fun of them like a fuck ton with Van Der Pig. But then they actually acknowledged that he was kind of right with the state of the planet and all that. They actually used an episode of bringing Van Der Pig back to apologize to him in a way. <laughs> yeah. So I can give props. To, I give a lot of props to those two in particular. Mm -hmm. I think about the max jackpot. Oh, no. Nope, it's two jackpots and, Sonic, and one Sonic head gets you 120. We did have once. Yes. I mean, at this point... I mean... I guess you can... Oh. Oh, yeah, it keeps, oh, yeah all these anime-based games as well. Jujutsu Kaisen, Spy, Family, and frickin'... I don't know the Naruto one, or Boruto one, thankfully. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously, Mark's for a way too fucking long. It should've ended with the end of Naruto. Oh, shit. Yeah. Or Boruto should've been a short spin-off, and it's turning a whole other big series. I wonder if that's how it turned out at first, and then afterwards it was super popular. And, uh, you know, yeah. Boruto's dad is so cool. He should have his own series. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God damn it. Not wrong. <laughs> Star Wars Outlaws. Okay, where the fuck do I go? Is it up? Because I tried to go up and... Try to go forward and see... Go that way. Okay. Just Come go that the... way. Just go to the left. I mean... Follow the path. I think you just jump into that game. Ah, uh, okay. Yep, you're good. Yeah, it's not always constantly going to the right. I know it's weird. No, because I was at the left, and I'm thinking, like, oh shit, you can I get yeah, go that way? Like, you didn't get, you didn't, yeah, for those ones, you just had to jump into the game. Okay, yeah. It does look kind of weird, though. It, it, it does, yeah, so. It, it was, it was kind of just a level fuck with me. Oh yeah, the remastering sweet code in one and two. Right. I wonder how that will turn out. Oh, well, I have to take this loop de loop. Yeah, I do wonder about that. What else? Uh, let's just jump over this. Oh, you're actually uh, around at the bottom. That was gonna be a cab driving simulator. Okay, that's different. Awesome. We got desert bus. Now we get uh, create a uh, normal taxi. Taxi like a cab driving simulator. Yep, that's literally what it's called. Oh yeah, there's another turtles game. Mutant Mayhem. Loosely based. It's a sequel to the movie. From the sounds of it. Okay. So, eh, don't know what to think how that's gonna be. Because a lot of the Turtles games tend to be hit or miss. Yeah. I and mean, we had a really good one lately, so I guess that means we're in, we're in need of a miss, apparently. Depends on who's working on it, I guess. Yeah, it depends on the developer, because I know... Aside from, like, the original NES game, like, all the Konami-based ones are pretty good. I'm trying to think about if there's any other ones beyond that, there's besides some, the obvious ones. I know Way Forward did a couple based off the 3D CGI cartoon, the 2012 one, and apparently they weren't good. Yeah. Well, one of them might have been okay, but I don't think a lot of them were good. I know the arcade based off the 2012 cartoon was pretty good. Huh. Because I did play that, um, 
couple times. Uh, when it was available to do it. Okay, fuck it. This line! <laughs> this point! Oh god! Oh, what? Alright, well, all we gotta do legitimately is probably better for this boss anyway. So you don't burn through your rings by mistake. Yeah, you remember what boss. to do here? Yeah, it's this boss. Oh, this motherfucker. Yep. I love this boss. Best boss in all Sonic. How could you not love it? There's one. It's you can only hit him with one at a time too, that's the worst thing. You can get out and go right back in. Well, I wasn't sure if it was going to damage me, that's, that's the problem. I know, yep. to look. And just remember, you can only hit him from the bottom. Yep, yep. as we found out. Yep. Well, I demonstrate that. Fun. Awesome. Yeah, always fun. Vampire the Masquerade Warplanes 2. I heard about that game. That's one coming. What else is there? Oh, dick. Yep. Just hit side. Yeah, so we have a somewhat decent amount of games coming so far. And again, I think we're finally through the fucking COVID burnout. Yeah. The... We hope. Nothing you I'm motherfucker. About. At least it's all right, you're good. Oh, thank you for the other rings! You don't want to rapidly go in and out, you yeah. want to try to time it. Like it. We're out of the COVID thing, but it also seems like the gaming uh, landscape is kind of big. Shifting a little bit because a lot of people have been noticing a lot of the gaming journals are kind of full of shit now. Along with certain things in gaming in terms of like practice and stuff, kind of been starting to become more and more apparent. Mm -hmm. So, I'm, which I'm happy about in certain regards. Somehow I avoid that. Yeah. Your iframes in the elevator. Yep. Some people are finally starting to get tired of Souls like some sounds of it. And a lot of people are getting fed up with a lot of the bullshit that's coming from COD or um, Activision Blizzard and stuff. So. Oh. If you're talking about Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, apparently the developer kind of got fucked on this. But apparently, yeah. the campaign was supposed to be DLC for Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, I heard about that. Because Activision was unsure about the situation of their buyout. Wait, the wait, wait, what? I guess you got it. Clip the edge of the... Spike, take it, take uh, it. You know what? Origins, I don't even know anymore. I don't even know anymore, man. It helps. Don't even question it. 